What's up everybody? Today we're going to learn a little bit about the tracking blur effect and just blurring images. So the first thing you're going to do is find the piece of video that you want. So I have a gentleman here running and let's say we wanted to blur his face for some reason. Let's say we didn't want to identify who he was. Um, so it's pretty easy. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go up here and not your bins, but the effects and hit under filters blur and we want the blur image right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag it on top. So once we have it on top, we're gonna select down here in the effects mode. And then I wanna go to the very beginning of my video clip here. And so I wanna make sure the very beginning is selected, right? Go here into the effect mode or the effect editor. I'm gonna put this blur right on top of them, just like that. Um, so one thing you may notice is it's pretty harsh. I know it's hard to see, but this blur is pretty hard right now. It's just right around the edges. It needs to be softened a little bit. So the easiest way to do that is to click right here and then go under feathering. So feathering may not be selected down, so you may have to hit it. And you just wanna just feather it just a little bit, not too much but just a little bit and you'll see it softens those edges a little bit, which makes it a lot better and more appealing. Um, so one thing you'll see is it'll stay exactly where it is currently. So we wanna select the end. These are our keyframes on the timeline right here. Is it the beginning and end? It automatically puts them down. So what I like to do is actually go to the very end of it and just put it on top just to make it a little easier. Uh, and you'll see why at the end. Because then I'll, if I hit play here, it's already moving towards the location that it needs to be. But he's not running as fast as the blur. So this is where we have to add our keyframes in. So I'm going to hit play and stop. I'm just going to go a second or so. If that, put it on top of them and a keyframe will automatically drop. If it doesn't, you can hit this little add keyframe right here. Let's hit it again. It's still going a little too fast. So we're going to drag it back on top of them. And then hit it one more time. Drag it back on top of them, and boom. And then it should keep up. It's a little too fast here, from what I can tell. So let's do that right there. And it adds another keyframe. And then this is the beauty part, is you can just go in here, move it back, it adds another one there. Still a little too fast, put another one there. Maybe go here, actually that looks okay. So, real easy. Just blur right over his face the whole time. Super simple. And that's all it is. It's just basically what you're doing is you're adding keyframes down to tell it where you want the blur to track. In my opinion, that's one of the easiest ways to do this. So let's say we wanted to blur out the entire image. Let's say we have this image of this truck over here on the left side. I'm going to drop it down. And then let's say we want to blur just this truck. So I'm going to go back into the blur effect here under image and just drop it on top. Open up my effects mode. Instead of the oval this time, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, put it on top just like that. And now you can see, once again, it's still that very harsh outline. So I'm going to go back into the effects editor over here, and I'm going to soften it just a little bit. Because if you go too much, you can kind of see how that happens there. So you want it just enough to kind of feather the outline but it makes a big difference. But let's say we want to do it to the whole image, then all we have to do is literally just grab the edges and just drag it on top and it will blur the whole thing. Uh, and that's one of the easiest ways of doing it. If you wanted to blur just one portion of the image or the entire image, if you want a little bit softer of a blur, one of the easiest ways I do it is because I use the 3D warp tool on just about every image that I have. I'll just drag it on top, go into the 3D warp here, Scroll down, and then you'll see defocus right here. And you can just drag both those to the right. It blurs it a little bit, not a ton. So if you needed more, you can go FG only, and then blur it even more. And just move both of them across. And you can see that's pretty blurry. So it does a little bit better job of blurring the entire image compared to what it was. So those are really the two easiest ways of blurring, either with track blurring, like so, or blurring entire image, or just blurring just a portion of the image, you know, if you wanted just the truck. So 
Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, it's pretty simple stuff. Hopefully this is helpful.